Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Black Book. We are currently camping in the middle of a very spooky forest, having saved the boy whose name I can't remember. Should we speak to him? Where are we? I can't remember. It's hard to speak. Seems unfamiliar. Etka, that's his name. Do you know anything about werewolves? Have you seen other wedding guests? I can't remember. It's like it was a, all in a fog, as if they were running. Nikolai was there, beside me. We were back in here, as if called by someone. We ran as fast as we could. That's how we were separated. Then I met an old man. He took me. The others are still near. I still feel it. Hmm, could you tell me where? That would be very useful. What do you know of that stranger? Who was that man with you? The old man. He was bringing me home. I was following him. I heard everything in the forest with them. We heard you too. A kind old man he was. What about Petka? How do you feel? I can't remember. I used to live in the village. Not in the forest, right? How much time has passed? A lot? Not that much. The boy stares at the flames without blinking. It seems that he is lost in his thoughts. I'm sure he'll sleep it off. Okay, well, let's speak to Proshka. Klaus. I say this with all my divinating Susietka authority. Can you divine anything else? Nah, I've always been bad at foretelling. <laughs> Who is? The other Susietkas are also guessing, and they usually are the mark. Don't worry, Vasya. We'll help you and yours. Still, you should stock up on Cuckoo's Tears. Well, that I know where to get more from. Uh, Aaron? You weren't very surprised by the spirit. It's not my first day in the forest. I've seen things. Can you tell me of Palud? So now we climb the mountain? The werewolves are running to the pack leader, the master of this mountain. I know the way. I'll guide you. Rest now. Okay, we got a new task. What about the stranger? Who was that man? He doesn't look like a short. This was Shurale from Palud. Who else? The Leshe. I would recognize him in any form. Werewolves run towards him. If knowers of priests don't turn them back, they stay wild beasts for life. Hmm. A person dear to me disappeared once. And old Yegor helped me to make a charter. A charter? The request to Leshy is written in a birch bark and left on the threshold of the world of men in the forest. The Leshy didn't give her back anyway. He took her for himself. He, by Palud. That means it was him. He was afraid to show himself to me. Now we're going to track him down. What about old Igor? Was it long ago that old Igor helped you? Long ago. You were still little. When the Charter didn't help, we went searching by ourselves. We found my wife, but it was too late. Well, that's sad indeed. You have to pester with the chorts. Uh, you're still doing your meaningless job, and I'll take the reward. Uh, you're doing your meaningless job, and I'll take your reward. My sin is still going up, which is very annoying. And the man who does the most sin over here does the second most sin. Plus three? Oh my. Go over there. Who else is here? I'm not sure if we're just gaining two sin every day. <laughs> just from the shorts. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh well. No, we have knowledge. We leveled up, did we not? Pages deal one more damage. Seems awfully useful. Knowledge. Gotta be something here that's useful. Maybe I should get this. Short specialties and job types are visible. Chance of your chort completing the job well uh, job well reduced by 50%. Is that good? I don't want him to. 
Maybe if they mess up, you don't get the uh, sin. Oh yeah, increases sin that your chorts bring you. Yes, I don't want that. Reduces sin that your chorts bring you. The job completion by five. That seems amazing. Can I have that? Boo. <laughs> Need to level up two more times. Okay, maybe I should have done that a long time ago. But... Wait, have I done everything here? Is there anything in my deck I don't want? That's probably a good start to be. Uh, I don't really need you. Get out of here. Cane, Drocker, new chain. Bone curse. I'm not entirely sure I want a new chain, to be honest. I keep pulling it and I don't need it. Uh, everything else is kind of like situationally interesting, if nothing else, and I do like a good interesting deck. Uh, so let's set off. The book merchant is behind us. Do you sell anything interesting? What kind of wisdom do you possess? That which comes from above, or that of snakes and demons? Um, I mean, honestly, I think it's snakes and demons. But, uh, we don't talk about that. Damascus Stone. Deal one damage to a random enemy when gaining a shield. That seems... I'm going to pick that up on the grounds that I already have it apparently, but that seems interesting. Because you could build a deck revolving around Damascus Stone and healing. Or like blocking damage, so nothing could ever hurt you and you just hurt them every time. Ah, oh, Book Merchant, thank you very much. Let's go to the foot of Palud. Mount Palud looms over us. We'll reach the werewolves soon. After several hours of rest, you go on your way. Among the forests, at the foot of Palud, you almost forget that Cherdin is somewhere near. This forest looks like it was born at the dawn of time. Your thoughts return to the wedding. Could you do something to prevent Alexander from doing this? Or was this all predetermined by fate? I'm gonna go with predetermined by fate. We did get a new Balalishka, though. Oh, it's a continuation of the Noah versus Noah. Well, they're sitting like that, eyeballing each other. As soon as one tries to say something, the other seals his mouth. I lay whispering to myself, as my granny Glasha taught me. I walk with a blessing from Isbar to the porch, from the porch to the yard, from the yard to the gates, under the bright sun to the wide field, and I see Lord's holy church, its royal doors open. The servant of God, Igor, charms himself from Kaldoons and witches and the likes of them, those who cast spells against me, those who count trees in the forest and sand the sea. May the stars shine brightly upon me, now and forever. Amen. Let's continue. Evil spirits pull you out of your thoughts. You see their burning eyes among the trees. Oh, bugger. About to fight. You have 99 health. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh dear. Well, let's neuter that wolf. Uh, we are going to hit them all for seven damage. Can I kill any of them? Maybe him if I can do three more damage. Ketone? Yeah, make sure we get rid of him. All right, so that, that removes him as a problem. Let's lay more curse on him. Focus on the wolf. I don't know if Sea Depth will kill him, so I'm not going to do it yet. I'll hold on to it for a turn. Who do we have? We have Proshka, so we can get 10. I'm going to use that, actually. Because <laughs> we're about to get smacked. Damn it, something's still hurting me. I forgot to look. Oh, I actually feel we could have killed the wolf. Well, that's what I get for not doing my maths. It's fine. I'm only going to do one damage. Oh my god, we have 64 health? Good lord. That seems like an awful lot. 
Cursed by 12, so if I bone curse you, I can't bone curse and see depth, huh? Okay, yeah, okay, bone curse you, and then we'll kill you next turn. Uh, seven? Oh, that will just kill him. So, pile up all the other damage on that man right there, and let's see where it goes. Bloody waste. I'll damage him. Some weakness, 24 curse. We should we can definitely kill him the next turn. With C depth. We've got a lot of uh, mileage out of this curse deck. It is very good. It works in pretty much every situation. Break the curse anymore? No, but for the sake of it, I'm just going to hit him with everything I've got anyway. There we go. What do we have here? Salt in the eye, stronger than steel, or the Satan eel? I'm going to pick that up, but I don't want to use it. 36 ruples and 425 experience. That's a lot of experience. Can I have a look at my item for a second? It's you, isn't it? No, oh, because it says weakness. Is it just... Oh, I know what it is. My bloody shorts, isn't it? Yeah, it's this guy. <laughs> God's sake. Look, just... Can I send you? I can't send you and I'm not here. I'm like, damn it. That explains so much. Ooh, a blood trail. Hey, rat. Noticed grim markings on the grass and on the branches. We should learn what happened here. You stop. Feeling witching forces near one of the old pines. You look up. Its branches reach to the skies, and it seems like they have no end, reaching to the top of the world. By the tree roots, you make out a trail of blood leading east. By the tree roots, you make out a trail of blood leading east. You like that last line. Uh, let's study the pine you tree. You come closer to the tree. Its heavy branches hide you from the outer world. You feel that you have entered an ancient place of an alien power. You follow your witch's sense and study the old pine tree. Among the old roots, you find an ancient bronze figurine looking like a man with a moose head. You sense strong sorcery coming from this item. An old Permian god. There were many of them before, but where they disappeared to is unknown. They might as well be evil spirits today. You gain three prayer on battle start. Interesting. Let's study the tracks. The hunter says the pack caught a mighty moose here. They dragged it somewhere to the east. The hunter says okay, the pack caught... Uh, we can go to the east. The wolf feast. A bloody trail leads to this glade. I think I can hear the terrible sound of bones crunching. You smell blood as moonlight shines over the wolves gorging themselves in a wild feast. Some of the beasts have red eyes. There's a werewolf in this pack, but it looks like he hasn't been allowed to the prey yet. Let's wait. The sated wolves don't interfere with you when you approach the werewolf. You start to whisper the ritual words, but quickly realize that you can't bring back a werewolf who has tried animal food. The beast tries to bite you, and you jerk your hand away. Judging by the remains of clothing, it's one of the bridesmaids. Damn. Let's leave the location. I guess that's my own fault. I should have interfered. Ah, bugger. Alright, well, to the somber forest. Pines and firs grow here in steps, as if they were sitting on benches in a manya. Only there's no end in sight, 
to this Banya. At least it was only one of the bridesmaid, and not one of the main characters. That would have been problematic. Irat continues to lead you along the tracks. Soon, the path is surrounded by overhanging trees that look like church walls. In a couple of steps, your way is blocked by a wall of tangled branches. Irat frowns and pulls out his axe. Let's stop the hunter. You insist on finding another way, and the Bashkir reluctantly agrees. Before getting back on the path, you spend a lot of time and strength. Hmm, minus three health, but we probably avoided some horrendous curse, so let's leave the location. <laughs> Vishera's Tears. They say that the heroic Poland was loved by a girl called Vishera. I don't remember how the story goes, but her tears are all that remain. The spring bears her name. You hear the gentle gurgling of a creek nearby, as well as the steady sighing of branches. You can feel evil spirits. Ahead, on a stone, a Rusalka is combing her slimy hair. We've had good history with the Rusal Rusalkas. Let's talk. Travelers, come. Come closer. Oh, I'm not going to fall for that. You can rest here after your long journey. I mean, I do need healing. Don't try your black hearts on us. We are Kaldoons ourselves. Why, you tell her, Proshka. It seems that Irat has succumbed to sorcery. He steps towards the undead. You grab his sleeve and whisper a Zagavar. The sorcery vanishes. The Rusalka hisses in anger. Nice try. Why are you here, you Kaldoons? Wait, don't be angry. We need to get to the top. We're not going to spoil your creek. Yes, this is my creek, mine. You want to pass? Pledge a sacrifice to me. Then I let you pass. Will you then accept money? Tell you about the treasure. The other Nova left it here, not far away. All I have is money. What kind of sacrifice do you want? I know Church ask you Kaldoons for jobs. Let one of them bring a man to me. As you can see, I only wish for some company. Hmm. All right. Be it as you wish. How long yeah. did it take to bring someone? I don't know why I thought that wasn't going to give me sin, but treasure. Oh, very good. Look here. There is a passing. If you go east, you'll find a cave. A Kaltoon died there. Don't look at me. I didn't kill him. I don't know the reason. You cross the creek, watching the Rusalka attentively, but she disappears behind the sedge and doesn't show herself. Okay. Nameless cave. The drowned woman told me about an old corpse at the spring outlet. Who could that be? The victim of a leshy? The winding creek leads you to an unwelcoming cave. In the gloomy darkness, you make out grey human bones. The air is full of sorcerous power, seeping out of the remains and out of the pistir that's lying nearby. Um. The air is full of sorcerous power, seeping out of the remains and out of the pestir that's lying nearby. He said pestir differently. Both times. A box made out of bast. Let's study these bones. The clothes are long gone, and all you can say about the deceased is that he died very long ago. Perhaps his remains weren't scattered by wild beasts, because there is still some power left in this place. Let's inspect the box. You open the pestier, and several famished and frightened chorts emerge from it. They quickly disappear in the darkness. Inside, you see an old spindle that gives off a malicious power. Who knows? Maybe it was this thing that killed the previous owner. Wait. Do I want this? Sure, why not? A sharp pain pierces your hand when you touch this accursed item. Unable to resist, you put the spindle in your bag. Ah. <sighs> your first Zagava always has the dead man's spindle. Am I being punished? Or... Oh. What is Dead Man Spindle? Can I? Dead Man Spindle Waste 3. Is that to an enemy? Because Waste to an enemy isn't so bad. 
It is worm-eaten and smells of myth. Let's see if that... Like, hopefully it's fine. Hopefully it's fine. Maybe we have to equip it to have bad things happen. Let's go to the bluff above the veil. Vale. All of the surrounding lands are visible from atop this bluff. What a beautiful view. Not far from the top of Palud, you find a glade, basking in the moonlight. It's close to the drop, opening to the forests around you. You feel you can find some healing herbs here. Oh, wicked. Can we find some cuckoo ear tears? I need those. Wonderful. Wonderful times two. Oh, it's a bird. I was like, why is that rock moving? <laughs> I'm checking everywhere. I don't want to accidentally not pick some up and then find out I need it. Oh, Adam's head. Adam's head. Apparently I can, I'm glitching through the rocks here, but we're not, we're not going to question it. Camera keeps changing and I don't expect it to. Very pretty. Thought... Oh, I can look. Oh, that's leaving location. Never mind. Oh, here's one. You Cuckoo's Tears? You look like Cuckoo's Tears. Aha, uh -huh, you are. Can I talk to the, uh, the people who are with us? Erat and the boy? I, I barely remember what happened before the forest grandpa took me. Where did we live? Miss Elisa. Oh, hmm. you're from Bakcha, Petka. He'll remember in time. I've seen it once before. A hunter was led astray by a Shuralia. But that one didn't completely come to his senses. This one is still young. He will. That's all right, Petka. We'll make you better. You'll remember. I want to go home, Vasa. To my mother. <sighs> speak to Ere? No. Okay, well, let's leave this place. I think we got as much cuckoo herb as we can get. Let's hope it's enough. Are you ready to take on the Leffy? Sure. Well, we didn't game all this way for nothing. I don't think so. You're not ready. Oh. They ruin your wedding, and you let him sleep near the foot of the mountain. Why would this be any different? I mean, in my defense, we won. You just uh, went after him. Aye, <laughs> we cannot let him escape. I know what we should do. The Lefri draws his power from the forest. Palut Forest is strong, and the Lefri is strong also. Are you going to tell me to burn down the forest? We need to set the mm. trees on fire. We will light the one here, near the tops. Then Shurale will grow weak. I'm not Wonder burning down a forest. You won't escape. Well, what do you think? I'm not burning down the forest. This plan you've thought up is a sin. This forest feeds you. All right. You do as you like. Oh, that was easy. I see the logic, but I feel the burning down the forest. Probably unnecessary. I'm sure we can come to an amenable decision. More cuckoos here, so I'll take it. Hmm, last time I was at a place like this, it was a giant floating god. Uh, let's talk to... What? I'm scared. When are we going back? Petka. Stop whining. Be glad you're alive. Wow. The boy bites on his lip and hides his tears behind the torn sleeve of his shirt. That wasn't very enough. This poor, this poor boy. We can Shedding look at somewhere out there. I can't make it out from here. Okay. Uh, and then we can leave the location. Is that is that it? Is there not going to be? The trail leads to the very top. Look around a bit more, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm phasing through the floor again. No? Okay. 
I thought there was going to be a boss fight or something. Is this the end of the the, the map trail here? Leads to the very top. The iron smell doesn't bode well. You start to speed up, but notice a werewolf ahead of you and stop. His grinning face is missing a fang, and his eyes have almost no traces of humanity left. Oh, uh, there's a good chance this isn't one of the guests. The werewolf closes the distance. It looks at you sullenly, measuring your power. It will be difficult for me to reach the human inside. How do I address him? I don't know why, but I feel that it's Nikolai. It's, well, we know it's not Petka. I don't remember Fedka and Samson. Let's, uh, let's use knowledge ability here. It's not a wolf cub, and his clothes are not those of a station monitor. Don't think it's Fedka. I think it's Nikolai. Nikolai, don't you remember oh, me? Crap. The wolf bears his teeth and attacks you. And I tried. I'm sure it was it was more the fact that I just could not remember who the characters are, which is my own fault, I suppose. Uh, let's start off with the prize or the sticky. Right, this is going to hurt quite a lot. Uh, seven, seven, and seven, in fact. But let's curse the main guy. Let's then. Hmm. That will block eight, but do I need to block eight? Might not need to. Let's cast weakness as well. Let's just double up on this guy. That's probably a bad idea, actually. Let's cast weakness on somebody who can also hurt me but not kill me. Um, I think else is kind of so-so. Let's cast that. Just wait. That's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna nuke all of my black cards. I think. Is it gonna nuke all my black cards? Anymore? No, it's not. Attack of War Defense 1. Let's just do a ward, shall we? I think it will work. Ow. I am hurt remarkably badly, actually. Yeah, no, we won't. If anything, we've overblocked, but you know. Better to be over prepared than under. I hope he gives us a chance to save them after we've won the fight. Damascus stone, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Could, what are you doing? Bless, oh my god. Uh, let's cast a waste on you as well. Hey, waste? Do I even want waste? waste on you. Let's just, we're just going to go for all in on our main guy here. Let's do Damascus Stone. We're going to do 29 damage. Uh, I'm about to get hurt quite badly, aren't I? Probably fine. I feel the werewolf is the most dangerous. Yeah. Okay. I thought I might gain... I might damage when I gained the ward, but it doesn't seem to have worked that way. Which is a bit sad. Right, uh, can I have something that will allow me to just nuke down that guy? Nope. So... You were about to hit me for 12 damage. Hmm. Let's uh, just... Yeah, let's just get rid of that, shall we? I'm going to double the curse on the main guy. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him again. And I'm going to hope this doesn't hit me for too much. Yeah, okay, so that 11 curse got rid of his attack. Oh my god. 18 curse, I may have overdone it. In fact, I think the waste will get him? 
next turn? Worth it. Luckily the ward is still active. Yeah, there we go. Do I need to deal with the wolves now? I guess I do. Well, let's... Curse. Curse. I'm kind of sad that I don't have my waves. I'll probably kill them relatively quickly. I actually don't have any attacks here. <laughs> Good lord. It's fine. Probably going to draw them both at the same time. Let's be honest. Oh, there's one of them. Goodbye. And then... Oh, good lord. Waste and weakness. What a horrible day. I should... Heal. He's not going to hurt me because I still have the ward, so hopefully if we can kill him next turn, we're good. Let me see what happens with the werewolf. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's just throw everything, including the kitchen sink. There we go. Um, I don't want any of these, but I'm going to pick that up. 1,300 experience and 79 rupees. The beast collapses at your feet. It seems he's still breathing, but his strength is waning. Just let it die, good lord. Let's perform the ritual. After a moment, the wolf turns into Fedka, the accordion player. You feel the fourth seal starting to lose power. Fedka? Really? I feel there was no clues on that description to tell me that it was Fedka. Oh my lord. What's going on? Where am I? The wedding was cursed. The groom and some other people were transformed. All will be well soon. The wedding? Nikolai's? Oh, I must have drunk too much at the wedding feast the other evening. Nah. What's the last thing you remember? We were talking on the wagon. Well, at least you still have your memory. Ah, oh, you haven't eaten any wolf food. I made it in time. Lord, help me. Where are we? Did I hit my head or something? Wait, Fyodor. We'll talk later. Look after him while I take care of some other business. Don't follow me. It's dangerous out here. <sighs> all right, all right. I don't understand any of this. I'll explain later. Near the peak, you see the inky black mouth of a cave, standing in contrast to the ruthless wildfire around it. Irat is waiting for you by the entrance, looking thoughtfully into the darkness. God damn it, did you set fire to the blooming forest anyway? Shoralia won't get away from us. He'll have to answer for the wedding. As well as for my falcon. As well as for my family. I feel there may be a revenge motive going on here. Are you insane? You're burning the same forest that feeds you. Feeds me? Feeds me, you say? So what of it? What of my life? What of someone else's life? When he drags everyone who gets close to it into the abyss. I won't serve as cattle to be fattened up for the butcher. Look, look into the ravine. Do you see the darkness? Let all you priests go there with the candles. They won't make it go away. Do you think we can bargain with it? It won't make a sound. I feel your... Overall character just changed there. It's wild as a night, as the northern wind. What are we to it? Undergrowth, rot. You can't bargain with it. You can't take vengeance upon it. I rot. No. Oh, would your wedding be cursed without this demon? Would your friends become wolves? I think not. It wanted it. It got it. And now. It's feeding on their souls and laughing at us. Irat takes a step forward and disappears into the dark opening of the cave. Oh boy. You try to catch up to the hunter, but he escapes you as if in a dream. 
The fiery darkness smells of blood and burning wood. In the deep of the cave, you find the wolf shepherd and a werewolf in a ragged soldier's coat. Beside them is a pack of wolves, Irat's body by their feet. Ah, oh, crap. We found Nikolai then. Let's try and talk. What's wrong with Irat? <sighs> he didn't leave my back any choice. But you can speak. Let's talk about Irat. Irat told me you killed his wife. And now you killed him? Killed his wife? He thought so. But it's not true. You know yourself that I'm not a Newell spirit. I remember what happened. The fiery short is to blame for that death. I know who's to blame. Though I think you're not ready to learn it. No, it's not gonna be Igor then. Oh. I'm ready. You know yourself who sends shorts. And that short smelled of your sorcery. Me? But I wasn't a witch then. Yes, you were too young. But your shorts were owned by another Khaldun. Uh oh. It, it can't be. What can you tell me about the stranger? Who are you? I think you know. You mention me in your Zagavars quite often. Wolf Shepherd. Can you help me break this seal? I need to break the wolf seal. I know. This is your choice. A hard and a difficult one. Nikolai will break the seal. Huh. So, Nikolai? Take him for the soldier. You want to take him, but he will be better with me, safer. Among wolves? His soul will be safe. He can always fall from grace among men. Mm, not sure I agree with this. But be it as you wish. You didn't walk all this way in way. Take Nikolai, but I have to go. The wolf shepherd disappears in the acrid smoke of fire in front of your eyes. That's not where I expected that to go. You quickly perform a ritual for Nikolai. Nikolai opens his eyes, and before you can say anything, the black book flies out of your hands. One more seal is broken. The seal breaks with a flash and clash of force. You look around. It seems as if the fire has combined with ancient sorcery to begin to destroy this cave. Uh oh. It's about to turn over. Vasilisa, what? Fire? Oh wait, Nikolai really doesn't like fire. Jesus Christ, you remember. So you haven't eaten anything. That's at least one good piece of news. I think wife and I, we were on our way to get married with a guest. That's right. We were cursed. I couldn't protect you. We tried. Cursed? How? Where are we? The procession has turned to wolves, Kolya. I... I think the cave is about to collapse. I'll explain everything later. We need to get out of here. That seems fair. I got an achievement called The Wolf, and it looks mysteriously like my logo. Is that Nikolai in the back? Because he looks really screwed. <laughs> How do I get a feeling we're going to wake up talking to the devil? No? How Aleshi Walks the Forest Chapter 4 Nikolai! Hey! Is there anybody there? Proshka? <sighs> this fog is so cold. Wait, where's Proshka? I need to get out. I think Cherdan is to the west. Right. But where's west? 
Maybe if I can come to a glade, I will be able to tell. But with that, I think I'll be ending this here. So we're about to start chapter four. We're alone in a foggy forest. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.